Welcome back to another edition of the Picture Book Post. I'm Dr. Aaron Shaw. Today we're going to be reviewing Neighbors by Kasia Denisovich. Uh, so this is a really, I, I like the illustrations a lot in this, but it's the story of a little girl that um, she moves into an apartment building and she likes her apartment, but then she begins to wonder like who's around her and that she's got these neighbors around her and are they people that are just like her? Or are they people that are not just like her? And so this is kind of a cute picture that it has like all these circus people in there. Um, she also wonders if she's the only one home. Uh, she wonders if the building is her only neighbor. She even wonders what if there's no rooms outside of her room at all and she's out in space. So it kind of does this curious exploration of what it might be like for a little kid to wonder what it's like to live in an apartment and who are all these people around you. But we start to get a hint that maybe there's someone living next to her. And she decides one day that she's going to finally go out and discover the person that lives next door. And she does. And it's another little girl. And off they go and they begin to wonder what's it going to be like when they get to school. And they see all these other kids over here and they're kind of, it's kind of a mirror to the apartment thing. So all in all, I, I like the aesthetic of black and white pictures with a hint of color. Um, I always have found that to be an interesting little dynamic. Um, and so I, I like that a lot. I think that the story is interesting and in that we don't get, I, I've never seen a story like this and this has got to be part of what kids wonder about. So I do think that that's somewhat interesting. I don't think it'd be exciting enough for most kids. Um, I also don't think the ending is that exciting. Okay, so she meets another girl and now they're going off to school. I mean, it's okay. I, I, again, I would think it might have deeper meaning for parents than it does for kids. I'm not sure that it would be exciting enough to hold a kid's interest, but it might be decent as a way to teach a lesson about, hey, maybe our neighbors aren't so bad and maybe we could be friends with them. But other than that, I don't know that kids are going to be dying to read this book. So all in all, decent with decent artwork and just an okay ending. So uh, that's all she wrote, and we'll talk to you next time on the show. Thanks for listening.